I came across the outside in when I tried to find out about UK-based artists with some sort of condition or disability um, for an asylum as part of my level two outside course at the time. Do you think Outside In has supported you to access the art world? I definitely think they have. The agency has provided a platform um, allowed me to create an online gallery which there is no set criteria or boundaries in the artwork process or subject that you can that you are limited to create. Another really great thing is how accessible uh, the process for submissions of entering up and coming exhibitions. Plus the staff I've met are really helpful and friendly. Um, as I did have been a great support. They have enabled me to access the art world, uh, enabling them to view my work and my work to be viewed in uh, renowned galleries that I feel would have not been, uh, that I feel I would not have been able to access otherwise. Have you benefited from this opportunity? I'm amazed by the interest this opportunity has generated um, for my artwork. The support given from the agency has given me tremendous confidence at this stage of my early career, art career. The fact that one of my drawings has been chosen to be used as promotional material was initially a great surprise but gave me great pride that such a big organisation to choose my image. So do you think you will be making more artwork in the future? Yes. Um, this is the starting point of something that I'm passionate about. How do you start your ideas? It's in the space between sleep and wake that ideas evaporate. So I have to be quick to catch them before they go. So I keep a felt tip and a piece of paper by the bed and a dictaphone. And I grab one or the other of them to put the poem or the image down whilst it's still clear in that half asleep, half awake state. And, and, and that's, that's always the way the poems arrive. It's as if they're a, a side effect of fatigue or the natural occurrence of waking up from so many naps. But um, images and ideas for pictures come from all over the place. From just being alive and having eyes and feelings and thoughts and conversations and materials. Just a single word can trigger something. And food, I love food. The whole dinner book, my whole dinner book came about because of my love of food. It's a menu of life told through poems, all of which. So, what inspired you to make the larger piece that we have in our Outside in Central exhibition? Well, first is my obsession um, with energy, because if you're in a if you're, if you're stuck in a desert, you are going to be interested in water. And um, it's the same sort of thing with energy. Um, but more specifically, um, a, a, friend, a friend of mine brought a, a battered old book on medieval poetry from the charity shop to me. And in it, I found out about the beasts from the medieval beastery. Although now I'm told it's pronounced best bestiary, which is tepid um, word, beastry, sounds much better. So I 
got really fascinated by these beasts and I started hunting them out on the internet and, and then that's when I came across the big map, the giant map, the Hereford map of Mundi, which is a great big chaos um, of a world with hundreds of different pictures in it, Snowden and mermaids and bat-eared men and all manner of strange and peculiar creatures. And um, what really struck me was that knowledge about any is medieval to me, is medieval. Um, it's full of misunderstandings and fictions and the occasional fact. And I thought, well, I'll make my own map. I'll make a map of me. That's what I'll do. And um, so that was that was the that was the trigger. That was the trigger. Drop of war. When Eve fell from the tree, through the rupture of the eye of night, energy lay confounded, knew not where to look, nor where knowing might be. And how did you find out about Mount Sinai? Uh, from Laura Elliott from the art section of Coventry City Council, she emailed me. They've got an online gallery you might be interested in. Put some of your, your artwork up there. So I did. Have you benefited from this opportunity? Well, I've got a great kick out of it, and isn't that a great benefit? Um, I'm very much enjoying the far fetchedness of it all, um, and, and it's given a real buzz to my friends as well. Um, who knows, it might give me some more chances. It's, it's always hard to know, isn't it? Mate. Mate. I'm just glad when good things happen, they come my way, um, I'm happy with that. And will you be making more artwork in the future? Well, of course I will. I can't stop myself. I am an ideas factory and, and now making stuff has become as necessary as eating. Has your practice changed since being involved in that subject? Well, well, yes, yes, and no. I mean, the the last six months or so, I've, I've become slightly more organised, um, and I've started keeping sketchbooks of ideas rather than just randomly jotting things down. And bits of paper that get lost, or I can't read my own writing afterwards, um, and they might get thrown out of the Great Purge. Um, and I've also taken to. to um, having a go with the digital camera, the images from photographs or feed poems or feed ideas for pictures. I'm having hopes and plans for the art I want to do next. Thank <laughs> you.